On Sunday, April the 30th, um, I have possibly what is my favourite concert of the season because it's a concert where I not only get to conduct one of my favourite works, um, Elgar's Enigma Variations, uh, but also to introduce it to you, my friends, um, in a way that perhaps takes you a little bit behind the scenes of its composition. And to begin the concert, and uh, this makes it very special again, I will have the chance to play with four principal players from the VSO, uh, my colleagues uh, led by Nick Wright, um, to play the Elgar Piano Quintet, one of my favourite works of, of chamber music that actually was composed by Elgar um, as the First World War drew to a close. Lots of wistfulness, uh, nostalgia, um, a good deal of passion for life, but also uh, a great deal of disquietude that actually uh, Elgar shared with us uh, in so many of his works. And uh, having the opportunity to play the piano with my colleagues is something that uh, I always enjoy. Prior to uh, the performance of the Enigma Variations, I'm going to be taking you down a sort of Hercule Poirot or maybe a Sherlock Holmes um, mystery tour of the Enigma Variations. What exactly is enigmatic? Um, the friends that are pictured within, are there any clues as to their personalities or perhaps their physical traits or even their gates at one point. And um, there's an awful lot of fun inside information which I'd like to share with you over this piece, including exploring exactly what the Enigma really was and what does it mean. That's on Sunday the 30th of April and then on uh, Monday the 1st of May, one of the most popular nights the VSO presents every year, the last night of the proms. Um, we'll have the usual favourites, uh, Pomp and Circumstance March number one, uh, including the words the Land of Hope and Glory, and then uh, Blake's marvellous poem Jerusalem, set to music um, by Parry and then orchestrated by Elgar. And then, of course, uh, we'll have other items. We've got music by Noel Coward. Uh, we also have music by Gustav Holst. This time it's St. Paul's Suite played in tandem with our own VSO School Symphonietta side by side with VSO musicians live on stage. An awful lot to, to enjoy. If you have even um, a vague liking of things British, um, this festival I think is for you. I think it'll have the usual thing of, of the Brits, uh, we Brits I guess I should say, that sort of Anglo-Saxon reserve with an awful lot of bottled up emotion and um, tremendous passion just uh, beneath the surface. And of course, inevitably, a little bit of humor.